Good morning, children. In the previous lecture, we have done the tabular presentation of data. Now, this chapter again deals with presentation of data, but it is in a different form, that is, diagrammatic presentation of data. Now, earlier I have told you that main function of statistics is to present the data in the or present the complex data in the most simpler form so that it is very easy to understand. Even the layman can understand the statistics or the data without much effort. That is the main function of statistics. Now, earlier we have taken that how the classified data is presented in the form of tables. Now, this chapter is dealing the presentation of data in the form of diagrams. Now, that does not mean that table is of less of importance or uh, which one is better. You cannot say that uh, in comparison to table or in comparison to tabular presentation, diagrammatic presentation is better. Though it is good, it is better in the sense that it gives a bird's eye view and it is attractive. But without tables, diagrams cannot be drawn. So both are equally important. And you can, you can say that diagrammatic presentation is like, an, like a substitute for tabular presentation. But both are equally important because without table or without the uh, classified data, you cannot draw the diagram. Otherwise, without classified data, diagram will be haphazard or it will not be clear. So both are equally important. But they, these are two different ways of presenting data. Now, diagrammatic presentation, what we have taken here, the presentation of data by diagrams. Now, diagrammatic presentation is a bird's eye view. Through diagrams, you present the data in the most simple and attractive manner so that without much effort, even the layman or even the person who has little knowledge of statistics can learn the data and make the analysis. This is our main purpose of drawing diagrams. Now we see, or we come to this, what is the meaning of diagram first? We'll see this. Here, a diagram is a visual form of presentation of statistical data. So diagram is a visual form that in the visual form, the data is presented. The statistical data is presented in a visual form. That means through diagram, immediately you can visualize what is the data. And you know, when the diagram gives the data, then it becomes more attractive also. So the meaning of diagram, you can say, it is a visual form of presentation of the statistical data in an attractive manner, right? Now, this is the meaning of diagrammatic presentation. Now, after this, after understanding the meaning, let us come to the importance of diagrams, right? What is the importance of diagram or why diagrams are drawn to present the data? First is, diagrams are helpful in communicating the meaning of complex facts or complex numerical data. You know the data when it is collected. As I told you earlier also, it can be in thousands or it can be in lakhs also. Because when you are collecting the data about the census of India, then it will give you a very long figure. It is a big because India is a highly populated country. So in this way, data can be in small figures or it can be in large figures. Similarly, when you are finding out the agriculture production in India, then you know that there are many crops grown. So collecting data of each and every crop, that is a difficult task. But when the data is collected and you are presenting the data, then this is another difficult task. Distribution, what you are showing in a complex form, that distribution can be made easy with the help of diagram. So this diagram is helpful in communicating the complex numerical facts in a very simple 
and attractive manner. So this is one importance of drawing diagram. Second, diagrams facilitates analysis and comparison. How? Because when you are drawing the diagram, so diagram is giving a comparison. Like suppose you are comparing the agriculture production of different states and through diagram, diagram can be in the form of bar graph or pie diagram. Now, if the diagrams what you are drawing, they are giving you the crop production in a particular state, then with the help of the bar, suppose you have drawn the bar diagram, with the length of the bar you can make out which state is having more production and which state is having less of agriculture production. So in this way, comparison becomes easier with the help of diagram and when comparison becomes easier, obviously the analysis of data can be also easier. And our purpose of, of uh, uh, learning statistics is how to analyze the data in the easiest manner. So by drawing diagrams, another benefit what we are getting or what is the importance facilitates analysis and comparison. Right? These two points are clear. Now we come to the third one. Diagrams gives more satisfactory results. What do you mean by this? Because if you compare diagrams with tables, tables also give you the classification of data and the figures are shown in a clear form. But in comparison to tables, diagrams are more satisfactory. Why? Because in the table you have to go through the table or you have to compare the figures. But by diagram, by, lying, uh, by drawing the lines or bars, easily you can, you can draw the conclusions and you can get the satisfaction that you have understood what is shown in the diagram. So this way diagram gives you more satisfactory results, right? So that solves your purpose. Fourth is appealing to the eye. Obviously, anything when it is shown in the form of diagram or graph, that is always more attractive. Why? Because it appeals to the eye. Appeals to the eye means immediately it draws your attention and you want to just look at it and try to understand the diagram. So diagrams in comparison of tables, they are definitely more attractive. But as I told you, once first you have to make the table, then only on the basis of diagram you can do the analysis. So though both are going side by side, but tables does not draw so much of attention as the diagrams. So along with the tables, if you draw the diagram, that becomes more meaningful, right? Next is diagrams does not require special knowledge of statistics. As I told you that diagrams are considered good even for the layman. You understand what is meant by layman? A person who does not have any special knowledge. Now statistics is such a subject that it is not necessary that everybody knows statistics, right? Statistics does not mean only figures. It means how to analyze the figures, how to interpret the figures. That is statistics. Now layman who does not have knowledge of statistics, then it is difficult for him to read the table. But it is easier for him to go through the diagram because the diagrammatic presentation will give the message to the person what the person wants to show through the diagram. At least some impression he will get and he will try to understand with the help of diagram and definitely he will be getting some information out of the diagram if the diagram is drawn properly. So another importance of diagram is that even the layman can understand it who does not have special knowledge of statistics, right? So another importance, next is it saves time in analysis and presentation of data. If the table, long table is given, that is little time consuming. 
or if the data is given in a unclassified way then also it is time consuming but if the data is given in the form of diagram it saves time in making analysis and presentation of data right so this shows the importance of diagrams in statistics right now after learning all this you must be curious to know what are diagrams different type of diagrams because then only you will understand how the diagrams have so much of importance now here we'll take different types of diagram first type is bar diagram bar diagram 